This next tutorial we're going to look at uh, using frames in InDesign. Now frames themselves are used by graphic designers to get the layout of the page without actually putting any content in. A frame itself is like a placeholder that says that an image will appear here at some point in time. If we hover over the frame tool we notice that we've got this little arrow down the bottom which allows us to expand our selections. Now there's three types of frames that we can use, a rectangle, an ellipse and a polygon. If we select the rectangle frame and we draw it like a normal shape on our page, we'll notice that one thing happens with this that's different to shapes themselves. So a frame tool will have two uh, diagonal lines. Now this implies for the designer that an image will appear there at some point in time. If we also max uh, open up our, our frame tool, we'll notice that Eclipse is the same as, as a rectangle, but it's a different shape. But the polygon shape or frame tool, this is an important one. So if we select polygon and we double click on the polygon again, we get a, a polygon settings toolbar or dialog box that will appear. Now we can change the number of uh, sides that our shape will have. So I can choose six sides and I could also um, modify or manipulate the star insert to make it look a bit like a, a star. So if I put that at about 20%, you'll notice here when I start to draw my frame here, it starts to look like a star. Now, the next part of using the frames themselves is actually to place images in. Now, to place an image, the first thing we do is we go up to the File menu and we select Place. Now, what this will actually do is it will open up our, uh, a file dialog box for us. Now, with the file dialog box, we're able then to select the images that we actually would like to, to place um, into our page. So this is your, your standard file dialog box. So we select our, our image, which would generally be a, a JPEG or a GIF image. And once we've selected that image, we press the open. Now what you'll notice is that that image itself will be attached to uh, your actual cursor. And InDesign is actually asking you where you want to place that. So if I click on my star, frame you'll notice that my image gets placed inside that frame. Now if I go back to my uh, direct selection tool, my white selection tool, I can select that image and what I can actually do is I'm actually able to modify the image within the frame. And if I go back to my black selection tool I can actually change the size of the image as well and therefore I'm able to modify the image within the actual frame. So that's how we can actually use the frame tools with images as themselves.